if you've been watching my videos this season, you know that our uh, snowpack this season has been pretty terrible. It's like barely snowed since uh, the start of the season, and this weekend actually snowed a lot. It's our biggest storm since early November. We got, I think it's like, I don't know, 20 inches in places, 15 inches in other places. It's a really walloping storm. Yesterday we got out while it was snowing and uh, it was kind of like gray skies, but it was actively snowing and it was a great powder day. Uh, it was really fun to get out there. We skied a zone called Powder Park in Big Cottonwood. And it was only about like 400 feet long, so we lapped it three times and it was really good. I really liked it. I'd go back there again. There's snow on my hat. There's snow falling from this tree right here. There's snow everywhere. We have really not been used to that this season so far. I think it averages like a foot a week here, but yeah, as I said, this is kind of first big storm in a really long time. I don't remember really skiing like bottomless pow since like November, right? I don't think I've ever skied anything like this. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah, idea. in November it ski. Uh, whoa! In November it snowed like three feet on top of rocks and dirt, and that was a fun ski day. But now we have a base, so it's skiing a bit better. Hopefully this footage isn't too bouncy. We're going up for our second lap here, Powder Park. Um, we're in Upper Mill D, Big Cottonwood, and a little out of breath. If you've been watching my video so far this season, you'll know that we've had a terrible snowpack before this storm I think we're the driest or second driest that the Wasatch has ever been. So that's quite a year to move here and have this be your first experience. Today, it's kind of the first day that we're able to get out and kind of explore and tour some areas and this snow is really deep so maybe we'll do a lot of laps, get some good vert in. explore some new stuff now that we had at least minimal coverage yeah, yeah. And now we have a base at least the base might be like entirely facets so we just have to stick to like trees and slopes less than 30 but at least we have a base now so that's good and there's a lot of that out here yeah yeah for sure especially in in big cottonwood there's a lot of good stuff to ski less than 30 anchored um today we're on willow fork i think it's called and yeah Supposed to be cloudy and snowing more this afternoon, but I guess if you get out like a lot every day, you catch these random blue sky days. So, looking forward to skiing in the sunshine. Oh, it's like colder than they forecasted, but also we're getting some blue skies, which they didn't forecast. So, I'll take it. We are the only ones out here, and there's 
super light powder from yesterday. Um, so hopefully the skiing is as nice as the skin in. It's a little bit chillier, but we've got blue skies, no wind, um, and good gear. So we're doing all right. It took us like three hours, but we finally hit the sun and it was like really well worth it. It's uh, absolutely stunningly beautiful up here. There's a lot of untouched powder on some sweet lines that unfortunately we're not gonna ski, but they look awesome. This whole place looks awesome. Amazing sunny powder day turned into a cloudy bushwhack, as it often does, actually. Very familiar with this. <laughs> Not the worst. No, it's still a 10 out of 10 day. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, uh, you could press like. And if you want to see more videos like this, ski videos in the Wasatch, powder days, uh, you can subscribe. And if you've watched this far in the video, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. <laughs>